This is 9-3, and what we're looking to do is take these and then transform them into a cosine function. So using a cosine function. So let's take a look at part A. Part A is 10 sine omega t plus 30. And we want to transform that into a cosine. And if you remember, sine of some value is equal is equal to cosine of that value um, minus 90 degrees okay so if we apply this here if we put this here um, we can then transform this into a cosine function so it looks like we get 10 uh, 10 cosine 10 cosine omega t plus 30 degrees minus 90 degrees. So this here. And we can simplify this. So we have 10 cosine omega t minus 60 degrees. So that is the solution for part A here. And if we take a look at part B, part B we are starting out with negative sine, negative nine sine eight T. And we can use a identity here where we know that the negative sine of some value A is equal to cosine of A plus 90 degrees. So using, using this value here as our A, um, we can transform this. So we have, what we come out with is nine cosine of eight T plus 90 degrees, right? Nine cosine eight T plus 90 degrees. And that is our solution for part B. Now for part C, part C, let's go back up, negative 20 sine omega t plus 45. Negative 20 sine omega t plus 45. Here we can use the same thing that we used in part B. So negative sine of an angle A is equal to cosine of that angle A plus 90 degrees. Okay, so using this we come out with 20 cosine of omega t plus 45 degrees plus 90 degrees. Now, if we, if we simplify that now, what we end up coming out with is 20, 20 cosine omega t plus 135 degrees. And that is our solution for part C. So in this problem, we transformed all of the sines into cosines.